I am here again with a Fallout 3 monitor resolution fix. Now this time I'll also be doing Fallout New Vegas and Skyrim um, because those are all the same idea, they're the same way to fix it. So that's what the title is going to be, but I'm going to start off with Fallout 3. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your documents and then you're going to go to your my games and the Fallout 3 folder. Just like this. You're going to go ahead and search for Fallout, uh, Fallout 3. There's not going to be a space there. And there's going to be a falloutprefs.ini, which is a configuration settings notepad kind of thing. It can be opened with notepad, I mean. Um, and inside, once you um, open it up, you don't need to scroll down about halfway through this window that I have open, which is like the default size for it. You're going to see I size W, which, which is width for your monitor, and I size H, which is height for your monitor. And I just have them change to value 1 and 2 to show you how to just change it. You don't want a space after the equal sign. So my monitor resolution is 1600 for the width, and the height is 900. So once you do that, you can just go ahead, oops, you can go to File, then Save, or just press Control S, and then if you don't have it full screen, you make sure that B full screen equals 1, if you want it full screen at that resolution. But if you do not want it full screen at a, and you want it at a custom resolution, you change this to 0, and then you would want to have the resolution either less or the same as your monitor resolution. Because if you had it full screen, or not full screen with the same monitor resolution, it would just be, it would cover the whole screen, but it wouldn't be full screen. So that's how you do that. And then let's go ahead and I will open Fallout 3 now. There you go. Oh, I don't have it installed. So let's go ahead and show you New Vegas then, and I'll launch that. It's got the same launcher for both of them. So now we go to Fallout New Vegas, and then it should be Fallout Prefs. Let me double check. Um, let's see, it might not be that one, it might just be Fallout. Okay, let me double check the other one if it has 1600 in it. Okay, yeah, it's eye size, width, and height right here. Just, you, this one's a bit larger than the Fallout 3 one, so you're going to have to scroll down to right here. It says eye size, width, and height. Since there's a lot more on this one, it's going to be harder to find it. Same with the full screen value. Let me go up to the top. I don't think there is. It might be in the Fallout press one. Oh, it's not on either of them. That must mean you have to change it in the launcher. Unless I typed it wrong on this one. No, I did not. Okay. So now we'll go back and find the width and height. It's past all this. I don't know. Yeah, I went past it. Should be around. Yep, it's right here. So you just change this, and you put that onto your width and height of your monitor that you want it, or your custom resolution that you want. And if you want it at a custom resolution and you don't want it full screen, you're going to have to go ahead and launch New Vegas. And now you go to Options, and you would turn Windowed On. And then it, of course, has the resolutions right here. But if you change this, well, you don't actually want to change it. But once you open this, it's going to uh, overwrite it's going to overwrite the resolution that you already had on your Fallout Prefs right here. So let me get back to it. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to have to show it though. I'd have to change the resolution. Let me find it again. Okay, there it is. So you can see how it's 1600 by 900. But if I wanted to set this to, let's say, 1280 by 7, sorry, 720, and I save it, but then I go into the options, see it's changed to that, since that's one of the default resolutions. So you can see how it changes there. But of course, once I set it to 1600 by 900, and then we reopen it, and we search for size, 
and it changed it back to 1600 by 900. So there you go with that. But most of the time, if you have a custom resolution that you want to use, it will not be there when you uh, open up the options. So once you open up the options and you have your custom resolution set, it's going to overwrite it with the one it just pulled up. So if you want to keep your custom resolution, don't open the video options in the launcher. I wish I could show you this with the Fallout 3, but I don't have it installed. I just have the settings for whatever reason. So let me go back to my games, and then we'll show you Skyrim now. We'll go to Skyrim Prefs. I don't think it's that far away, so display is right here. And then it's eye size again. All of them are eye size, but this one has height first instead of width first. So my monitor is 1600 by 900, and then full screen is right above it. So if you don't want full screen, you can go ahead and turn that off. And then you can change these resolutions to your full screen resolution you want or your custom windowed resolution, whichever works for you. But again, if you're going to set the custom resolution, you don't want to go and overwrite it by opening the launcher. And then it would either detect the video hardware or it would, or you could go into the options and then it would overwrite it. So I'm not going to have it do this because I already have custom options set so I'm gonna go ahead and end this launcher but if you wanted to go into the options and change everything have a better visual of it you could and then you can go ahead and change the stuff in the Skyrim prefs accordingly such as the resolution and full screen if you couldn't do it there because these options are already there in the Skyrim launcher but if you need to change it you can go ahead and change it and then in the Skyrim.ini there is nothing that you need. They're all prefs, so it would be Fallout New Vegas prefs, Fallout 3 prefs, or Skyrim prefs. All of them are the same. And then I think this also works with Oblivion. Let me check. Yeah. So you can see mine is not the right size. So this is a good example to show you how to. So this one has the width first as well, as most of them do except for Skyrim. So I would change that to 1600 by 900, and that would be full screen. So now I can go ahead and launch Oblivion. Let me get up there. It's got to install DirectX though. But yeah, there is only one Oblivion INI file in your documents. There is no Oblivion press, it's just Oblivion. So that's how you change the uh, resolution settings for that. Okay, there we go. So if it does this, which means it's its first time launching, or you changed something within the launcher, or something like that, it's going to ask you to do that. And then you would have to go to the options, of course, and see it has full screen, but it's also changed my resolution back. So if I were to go to cancel, and then I go exit because I'm going to change it through here. So let me go size to search for it. Okay, and I change it back to 1600 by 900. Save it. I'm pressing control S, so that's why you don't see me opening the file menu right here. And then save because I'm just pressing control S. And so then I'll reopen it. While it's synchronizing the saves, I'll just go ahead and show you that it works at the resolution that I had set it to with the preferences set. So I'm gonna have to stop recording here because I didn't, actually, I'll put it into window just to show you that it works at window two at the full screen resolution though, which means like for me it'd be 1600 by 900, which is my full screen resolution, but it's not full screen. So I'll go ahead and have it at the max resolution, but I'll not have it on full screen. And I'll start off with New Vegas. If this, I don't remember if this one had the full screen setting. Yeah, it wasn't in the preferences, I and I. And let me double check that it's in, not in Fallout again. Oh yeah, okay. So the full screen setting for Fallout New Vegas is in the actual Fallout.ini um, file instead of the Fallout NV prefs. So if you wanted to change it to windowed, you would just have to open the fallout.ini and with something like notepad. 
and then go ahead and just save it. Go ahead and override it. Oh, it's set to read only. That's a problem. So I'm going ahead and right click it, go to properties, uncheck read only, apply that. And now I'll go ahead and go find full screen again. Turn it off. Save that. Now I'll go ahead and open it. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and press play. I'm not sure if you can see it right now. But it looks like it launched in full screen, which means that I'd have to change it in the launcher as well. I'm gonna check the display settings though, which doesn't really do anything. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and quit it. And then we'll relaunch it. And we'll go to options. And we'll turn windowed on this time. And we'll press OK. So that's what we need to do for that. And then now we'll go into the Fallout Press. And we'll search for eye size. And then we'll go ahead and it's still at 1600 by 900. Let me refresh that just in case. Yeah, it's still at 1600 by 900. Then we'll go ahead and play it again. And now it's at the full screen windowed resolution. Even though that the launcher said it was at 800 by 480, I think it was. But it's actually at the full screen resolution while windowed. But if I didn't want it windowed, I'd go ahead and press play again through Steam if you're using Steam. I'd go to options and I'd uncheck window. And then I'd go to the resolution if it showed up. And if you are using a custom resolution, you would just uncheck windowed and then you would press OK. And then now we go to size. And if you'd have a custom resolution that wasn't available there, you would put the uh, width here and then the height there, of course. And then you would save it and you would relaunch it again and then it should work. So that's how you go about doing that. So that was just to show you that the window works there. And it will also work on Oblivion and Skyrim and Fallout 3 and of course New Vegas, which I just showed you. But I don't need to go in and show you each one. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this more updated one uh, helped you all and worked. It's Windows 8 compatible and Windows 8.1 compatible because I'm running Windows 8.1 now. And the last monitor resolution fix video that I did was when I had Windows just 8. So it works up to there and it should work on previous versions of Windows and if future Windows versions uh, somehow make it not work then I'll go ahead and find a fix then. But until then I'll see you guys next time.